Hey folks, Nass here. I appreciate everybody joining me today. It is finally here for everybody. It is available on Steam. You can get the update now. Uh, so hopefully everybody that is able to download it is downloading it and loading it up. That way you can play the new map, the Oxbow. Mel Reaver, good morning. Don's Diva, Dimian, Marity, Cora, good to see everybody. Thank you for joining me. Alrighty, let me get uh, scenes changed over here. There we go. Now we're we're doing something. Alrighty, so we've got the new map, the Oxbow. Of course, you still have the old map, the Valley. You can play single player on the Valley only. You can play single player and co-op on the Oxbow map. Two separate saves. So whatever you've had, have whatever you've built and and done in the Valley is a completely separate save than what you're going to be doing in the Oxbow. You cannot travel from the Valley to the Oxbow. That is, they're not connected maps. They are two separate maps. I don't know if they have plans on connecting them at a later date or anything like that. Uh, that hasn't been discussed that I'm aware of. Um, granted, I can only hope that they do. It would be a really neat idea if uh, Toplitz and RenderCube did end up combining the two maps and potentially down the road adding more connecting maps. It would be great to make this world much, much bigger and accessible from one game save. But for this update, the Valley is single player only. The Oxbow is can be done in single player and co-op. So you can invite your three other friends uh, to join you in the Oxbow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be starting a new series today. So this is going to be uh, what? Gosh, season seven, I think. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I'm already getting choked up. We're only just a couple of minutes into the stream. Goku, good to see you. Lars, good to see you. Bogo Fish, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I started earlier than what I had posted the stream start time. I wanted to go ahead and at least get the link out there so people could be waiting and things. Um, and to kind of give a buffer in case the update didn't drop right at um, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock for me. I've got to get a drink. Hang on. <clears throat> Man, I thought I had my throat all taken care of this morning. Holy cow. I'm even drinking water right now so I don't get choked up on my coffee. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I, uh, I did that knowing that I could start the stream a little bit early once the download actually hit. And it did right at 10 o'clock. It was great. Steam started downloading it. Uh, now, I kind of prepped myself for the download a little bit. I logged out of Steam, logged back in Steam, and I verified the old game files. So that way, everything was kind of cleared out, and there was nothing actually to interfere with Steam giving me the update. But it came through right away, so hopefully it does the same thing for everybody else. Uh, if you do have problems uh, getting the download right now, do what I've done. Log completely out of Steam, re-log back in, go through all the sale offers, because the game is on sale right now. I think it's 25% off or something. So if you don't have the game and you've been waiting for the update to get the game, it's actually good because it's on sale right now. Alrighty, let me catch up on a little bit of chat here. Storm Sage, Sa oh, Storm Saga. I have to wait because uh, I'm on Xbox. Yes, unfortunately, um, that is the way that these updates typically happen. Uh, PC, Steam always gets the update first. Uh, all other platforms get it uh, at a later date. Uh, so there's a lot more, uh, from my understanding, there's a lot more hoops to jump through when creating updates uh, and things for the consoles.
Your roasted meat value tripled. What? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Because <laughs> I've noticed when I was when I was doing the stream the other day, um, or, or the past couple of streams, that a lot of the values did change. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and click on co-op. So right here in the front page, you'll see Oxbow co-op. Uh, you can start the game. You'll see that you're going to be given a session code. Each time you log into the game, it's going to be a new session. So when you have friends joining your game, I would typically recommend clicking start game. Go ahead and get into your game. Whoever, and you're going to decide among your friends who's going to be hosting the game because that's who's going to have that game save. Uh, none of the other players are going to have the game save on their system. It's only going to be on the host system. Uh, so you want to be able to make sure that you're playing on the same game save each time you guys join the game. Um, I don't know if the game, if they're going to be making it available for uh, streaming platforms. Uh, so like uh, Nitrato or um, uh, Host Havoc, uh, which is actually what I use for my Valheim server. Um, I don't know if they're going to be making it available to do on those or not. I hope they do. Uh, I think it would be really nice to actually have a few different servers to offer subscribers and stuff like that. I, I think that would be an absolutely fun thing to do. Um, but anyway, you click start game and we're going to hop into here. We're going to go through character creation and get season seven underway. Gutterball Gaming, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Noir, hello. Hope you're doing well. Christmas is here. The map is downloading. Absolutely. Oh, Goku, that's a good thing. So if you were, if you had the early access uh, to the game, you may or may not already know this, but you need to go back in to your game files and you need to switch from the early access uh, uh, preview to the standard, which it may switch for you. I'm not sure. Uh, but you want, probably want to do that anyway. That way you make sure that you are getting uh, the current update, the current public update. Diva, it came, it, it came easily for you Well, playing ATS. Okay, good deal. I'm under the, uh, let's see, Storm Saga. I'm under the impression that changes in the new map will be affecting the old one so yes so uh, the changes that you're seeing in the new map uh whether it's value changes or things like that it will actually affect the old map as well so it's a big it's a big update for both maps Alrighty. so this is your character creation you can choose male or female these are presets right here. You can see Rasimir is right here. So if you wanted to actually choose the Rasimir character and continue playing as a Rasimir, you can do that. It's a preset. He even has the, if I can go into here, he even has the two different color eyes as well. Or you can choose whatever preset you want to start with, or you can actually modify each of these presets slightly to accommodate what you'd like to see or what your character would be. Sorry, I'm reading chat a little bit. Chichi80, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Greetings from Germany. Thank you. Alrighty, so I am going to choose... Actually, I think I'll probably just stick with this guy right here. Yeah, I'll stick with this guy. Of course, I'm going to be a male. You can switch from male to female. Even after you pick, if you pick a different thing, you can actually switch from male to female on this second tab here. Uh, you can change your complexion. There's what, eight presets on complexion. So you can go from nice and pale to dark skinned. I'm going to pick kind of a mediocre. You can change your voice type. Thank you. Hello. I need some food. Follow me. Good job. They don't sound a whole food. lot different. Follow me. 
Let's see what the females sound like. Thank you. Thank you. Will you marry me? Mm, not right now. Hello. Hello. I'm not Follow sure. Me. The voices, maybe they're. Hello. I guess they are a little bit different. Hello. I need some food. I think I'm gonna check check number three there on that one. Then you can go in. You can actually change, you know, your face, eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. So I think, the, let's see. Let me give this guy a little bit narrower head here. I don't know that one in three. Oh, three has the eyebrows are peaked up a little bit farther on three, it looks like. We'll go with one on that one. Nose. Can I spin his head around? Oh, I can. Okay, good. I'll go with three. That's not bad. Anna, greetings from Poland. Thank you for joining us, Anna. David, good to see you. How is the traveling back and forth between maps handled? It's two different saves. So you will not be traveling from the valley to the oxbow in the same game. Alrighty, so the mouth. Of course, men's mouths, they really don't change a whole lot. I'll stick with number one on that one and the ears. Again, I think I'll probably stick with number one. Yeah, that'll work. Go to the eyes. Now the eyes are kind of cool. You got this uh, heterochromia here. You can turn that on or off. As you can see, the eye, it gives you the ability to have a different color eye like Rasimir does in the original. I'm actually going to leave the hyperchromia on but I'm actually going to change the eye. Let's see if I can get this. Where's that at? This one is going to be kind of the green color. There we go. And then we're going to change this eye to the hyperchromia. I figure I'll do the right eye on my character since I get my injections and stuff on my right eye. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we can go down here to moles. You, um, I don't know if you can see any of his moles. Let me, uh, can I turn off his, let me turn off the facial hair. There we go. Let's turn off the facial hair and then we'll see if we can see moles and stuff. You can change the intensity of the moles. Let me see where these are at. There's one right there at the bottom of his lip. Looks like there might be one on his chin and below his eye. There's going to be one below this eye and up here above the eye. But you can change the intensity so they almost disappear. Now granted, I don't know that you'd really be able to see these in-game. Actually, those aren't too bad. I'll keep those. Then you can do you can add freckles if you want to. I'm going to probably stay away from the freckles because I don't have a whole lot myself. Uh, but you can change the intensity of the freckles. So like you can give him freckles all over his head and then make them really light. Or give him no freckles. Or her, if you're making a char uh, female character. Uh, also the scars. So you can see I got a scar over my uh, left eye and under on my right cheek. You can actually change and choose different scars depending on what type of uh, situation that you think you might have been in for your character. Makes him look like he has a cataract. I did have cataract surgery this year. So <laughs> uh, specifically just on my right eye. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Scars. I kind of liking that one. But let's see what else we got here. Oh, it looks like he's been burned there. Now you can, there's an option to flip the scar. So you can put the scar on the opposite cheek if you wanted to. There's one going across his nose, and it looks like he's got a scar on his lip. Again, if you flip it, it's going to come from the other side of the nose and then other side of the lip. That looks kind of nasty. 
Was that the first one we had? No, we had two scars on the first one that I chose. And then no scar. You can choose no scar if you want to. I think this was the one that I... No, was it this one? This one. Yeah, it looks like, like a bear or something slapped him upside the head. Which is more likely to be me anyway. Now, let's go into the hair styles and stuff like that. Tommy45, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Alrighty. Uh, so we can go base color. Go several different styles. Colors, I should say. Not necessarily styles. Now, the first one, I have noticed, you start off as one, but you start off with the number two color is what I've kind of noticed. So I, you have to change it a little bit and then go back to one if you want that white hairstyle, which I kind of like myself. Actually, I like that style of hair. I keep saying style instead of color. But anyway, I like that style and I like that color. Now you can go hair type. So we can get kind of that, that bowl cut looking thing going nice little shaggy comb long hair kind of have the the jesus look it looks like uh the standard businessman kind of a look i don't they don't have them named they're just one through whatever uh let's see what do we got here and the last one is no hair you can actually go bald if you want to and you can do that as a female as well i'm going to go back to this choice here then you can change your eyebrows and stuff if you wanted to. So you can change your eyebrow styles and make them thicker or thinner and peaked or not peaked. Looks like they're going to be light or even no eyebrows like you've had a razor mishap. <laughs> I kind of like eyebrows. Let's um, don't necessarily. There we go. There we go. That looks good for me. And you can change them to whatever color you want. You can make them dark brown or a light. I think I'm going to give them a little bit of brown color, but not much. And then you can go with facial hair. Obviously, like we have right now, we have no facial hair on. I personally have a beard, so I'm going to be going with the bearded style. But you can choose uh, what I like to call the Mario mustache. You got a goatee. You got the Lincoln beard. What is that? Looks like a 70s porn star beard. Mutton chops. What is that? The little uh, that little artsy goatee looking thing. I don't know what they call that. And then you have the mustache with the little artsy goatee thing. We are going to go back to here. I kind of like that. Of course, I kind of like the mutton chops too. Nope. We'll go with this one. <laughs> Yes, if you are liking these uh, these streams and episodes and stuff, please make sure to click that like button. Uh, YouTube really likes it when you do that. Of course, I do too as well. All right, so we're going to stick. These are my choices. Scar, the blind eye on my right, scar on the right, the, uh, looks, the, the Witcher 3 kind of a hairstyle. I'm going to go with the old man gray beard. Do I want to give my beard a hair a color? Let's see. Do I want to do that? No, I think that's going to look a little weird. I mean, if I do that, then I would have to change the hair color to match. But if you change the base color, it changes all of it. But you can change the hair color. Like, I can go there, and then I can change the color of the beard a little bit. So that way, I'm, I've got, like, my hair on top is, is grayed out, but yet my beard is, is a little bit blonde. That's interesting. Kind of like it to be all one color, though. And then have the eyebrows just a little bit darker. I think that looks good. Tootsie, good to see you. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Uh, Alrighty, so if you are have not gotten the download yet, you want to make sure what I did this morning was I logged completely out of Steam 
and then I logged completely back in with my username and password. I went into Medieval Dynasty and I verified my files uh, and it downloaded it for me as soon as 10 o'clock hit. So if yours is not downloading right now, you want to make sure that maybe just go ahead and log out of Steam and then log back in and that would put, could possibly trigger the download for you. Tommy, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, David seriously thought when I make a character, it's usually a female character. And I treat them like a person I got along the way. Why a female? I'd rather spend a hundred hours looking. <laughs> Man logic. I get it, David. I get it. I, I've I've played females in, in other games as well. Alrighty, so. We've got that, we've got that, everything is done. We've got our eye color, hair, we've got our sex that we've chosen, everything's done. We can go down here at the bottom, C to accept. You can actually name your character. Well, I'm gonna main, of course, NAS, and accept. And then you start out in a house. And we have a clean slate, uh, waking up from a nightmare. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit J, go in, to your journal, highlight that, and you can actually start reading what's kind of going on when you first get into the game. Uh, the memories and the nightmares clash uh, to excuse me clash to determine which one are more haunting. But the battle cannot be settled, nor can any of them be trusted. My head hurts so much I can barely see straight. Does the pain come from the screams? Thousands of agonizing shrieks echoing in my skull. What happened? Belief glimpses keep flashing, brief glimpses keep flashing before my eyes. I'm not sure if I want to focus on them. If I want to remember, I need to leave. I need to breathe. What is this place anyway? Someone is clearly taking care of me, tended to my wounds. We should talk. He might know more than me. Wait, is that a good thing? So then our objective is to talk to Sedowin, who is outside the building. But this house that you start in is what I've been calling the starter house. So you can come back to this house. You can utilize the beds. When season change happens, if you don't already have your own house built, uh, I've noticed that you go back to uh, the campfire that's outside the camp or outside the the uh village still not sure why these little red things are popped up but we'll figure that out later um there's a little camp right is it right here no it's going to be like right here so right outside the main town there's going to be a camp and that's where your recruitable villagers are going to be if you don't have a house, I've noticed that's where you respawn as well. I've had respawns here. I've also had respawns in the house. I don't know what determines either one. But these red marks are rather interesting, and I'm not exactly sure what they indicate yet. I have not been able to test that. Get rid of that marker. All right, let's go talk to Sedowin. Let's get out of uh, first person. But I'll scoot in a little bit. Uh, where's Sedowin at? Oh, he's going to be over here. <clears throat> Josh, good to see you. James, thank you. Appreciate you folks joining. Uh, let's see. If I join Steam and buy the game today, will it be the update version? Yes. It's also on sale today, I believe. I believe it's 25% off on Steam. James, I am having a good day so far. Thank you. Uh, that's a good point, Goku. Maybe that is the build restrictions. Maybe they've highlighted the build restrictions. Because you can't build near the village. But maybe that is... Yeah, maybe that is a, a helpful indicator. But it's interesting... 
because I believe there is also a building here that does have a build restriction around it, but there's no mark there. So I'm, I'm not sure. And this one here, if this is the case, that's a big build restriction. Because I believe this here is the very, yeah, see that cur I can't even place a cursor there because it's telling me it's out of bounds. Cursor's out of bounds, there. So there's the cor top, uh, top left corner of the map right there. So that's kind of a big restriction area for building, but I don't know. Again, we will be finding that out. Um, okay, Sedowin walked off here. Sedowin, buddy, we need to talk. Sedowin! Oh, you're live. And you look uh, quite mobile as well. That's surprising. Uh, let's see. You almost sound disappointed. Don't you know what to... Don't know what to say, but I kind of feel great. Uh, every step I take echoes with a thousand screams of mini agonal, agonal muscle fibers. But yeah, I'll manage. Uh, let's see. From what I've heard, you're the one whom I should be thanking for it. Excuse me, but who are you and what is this place? Uh, but we're going to go with number four. From what I've heard, you're the one whom I should be thankful for. Uh, let's see. Uh, don't be. I'm just a glorified butcher who tries to prevent his uh, patient's guts from spilling. Literally. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you saved my life, and there's nothing uh, I could ever do to repay that. Um, modesty is a virtue only when it's true. Uh, I'm going to go with the number one option. Uh, just try not to die again too soon. Okay, I'll do my best. Uh, and not to be an arsehole uh, while you're alive. <laughs> no guarantees. Uh, do that, and we're even. I'll do my best. Please tell, uh, tell me more about yourself. Uh, easier... Said than done, I'm afraid, but I'll try. Are you from here? We'll go with number two. My name is Sedwin. I'm a local uh, barber surgeon. Uh, at least that's what the townsfolk call me. I never truly pursued a career in medicine. Great. Uh, but I guess, excuse me, but I guess I was the least hesitant to grab the axe when it was needed. The axe? Oh my goodness. Is that your tool of choice when cutting people open? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the oxbow for you. It doesn't matter who you were before. Only what the land has in store for you from this point out. You'll see. Ken, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Uh, whew, there's some choices. Okay. But before I can answer any more of your uh, questions, I need to perform a quick examination. We have to be sure that every part of you is healing correctly. Let's start with you telling me what is the, the last thing you remember. Well, I don't remember anything because we just started the game. I don't have a backstory. Uh, let's see. Waking up. Let's see. Waking up in the house nearby. I can't remember anything else. Well, that, that's true. We, we actually woke up in this house we're standing in. Uh, let's see. I was the commander of the guard hired to protect uh, the convoy of builders and craftsmen. We were attacked. And then three. Uh, let's see. The guild's caravan was set to arrive to the oxbow, but it was ambushed by bandits on the way. Number four. I was unlawfully captured and sold against my will to the highest bidder. While I was being transported, the bandits struck. Well, there's two of them that bandits struck. Uh, let's see. Number five. I was just a petty thief. I swear I never hurt anybody, but they nicked me one day and put me in a cage. I was supposed to be a laborer until my debt was paid off. But then the massacre started. <clears throat> Excuse me. The flames and screams. I can't tell which are more t uh, tormenting. My goodness, there's eight choices here. Uh, let's see. I was awaiting my decapitation when some fat bastard came in and said that I had decided to that he, no, that they had decided to work me to death instead. Uh, they caged me like cattle and sent me across the continent, but it was they who were slaughtered in the end. Uh, I, I supposed, I was supposed to deliver a message. Uh, let's go with number one, since that's the obvious. We did wake up in this house and we can't remember anything else. So we'll go with that option.
I see. Do you honestly believe that or just want me to? Well, um, <laughs> I was trying to tell you the truth, but now you're thinking I'm lying. Uh, let's see. You think that you think this is a joke? I have no idea where I am, who I am, what am I even supposed to feel? Uh, what did my mother's face look like? What did she, what did my mother's face look like? What did she look like? Okay, or just you? We're gonna go with number one. Didn't mean to upset you. Uh, just being thorough. Listen, I understand how confusing this all might be to you right now. Memory loss is more common than with. Memory loss is more common, more than common with that kind of trauma in the head. Okay. I'll try to answer any questions you might have. Who am I? Uh, I simply don't know. You were part of a Builders Guild caravan that was set to arrive here to the Oxbow to start the creation of a new settlement. But the caravan was ambushed near the realm's border. You're among only a few survivors. Uh, let's see. So what now? Uh, was I part of the guild? Was I a part of the guild? So, so what now? We're going to choose number one. That's not me to decide. I can see you're in a good condition physically. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about loss, lost memories. Uh, they may come back on their own. Uh, just give yourself some time. If you'd like, we can go through a quick exercise to rebuild some of your muscle memory at least. That would be great. Thank you. Uh, there's no need. I'm fine. We're going to go with that would be great and thank you. Okay, I've prepared a short list of tasks that should help stimulate muscle memory and test your coordination. On the table in front of the sick house, which I'm assuming is the house that I'm in, uh, you should find a piece of parchment with a list on it. It's right next to the book that I'm writing. Give it a look if you like. It's called Knowledge. That's just a working title. It's a collection of all the wisdom that I've gathered throughout the years. Just a side project. I allowed myself to add a copy of it to your journal as well. Feel free to use it whenever you wish. And also, the chest next to my house, you might find a few useful things in there. Come back to me when you finish the exercise. I'm on it. I'll try to do my best. I'll try to do my best. <clears throat> Alrighty, there we go. List of exercises. Uh, let's see. I have not been keeping up with chaps since I was reading that. I'm glad I didn't miss too much. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's go outside. And here's the table. He's standing in front of it. There's a list of exercises. Oop. That is a list of exercises. And then right next to it is the book of knowledge. So this is going to introduce you to the knowledge tab. So if you hit the tab, so let me go back out. If you hit tab, if you're new to the game on keyboard, hit tab, it opens up the option to choose, you know, your map, journal, skills, and then knowledge. Knowledge is going to give you little tips uh, and things on how to play the game, development stage, fast travel, fishing, food, food source, gifts, hunting, your HUD, inspector mode. This is definitely going to be helpful for you. It's going to tell you about mounts and overload, people management, uh, resources, all kinds of things pertaining to the game. Now, granted, it's not going to be super in-depth, but it will cover the majority of the basic knowledge of playing the game and what you need to know about different things. So if you do have a question, look it up in the knowledge uh, knowledge tab. That way you, it'll help you learn the game. And then obviously I'm going to be putting out updated videos and guides uh, from here on out because everything and most everything that I've done in the past uh, isn't even pertaining to this map. So new map new guides. Alrighty, now we've got to gather resources from the ground nearby. We need 10 stones. We've got to loot the chest near the sick house. We have to craft a stone knife, uh, skin the chicken next to the chest and collect its meat. We've got to craft a simple torch. We've got to light the campfire inside the sick house, roast all the meat, craft a wood spear, hit the archery target with the spear. Alrighty, there we go. We have our list. Uh, let's grab 10 stone. So we can just go around and then you get little tool tips that are going to pop up and tell you different things. Uh, I believe you can turn those off in 
the uh, settings. So if you don't want to keep getting those, you don't have to. And I will probably eventually turn those off. I know I didn't say to pick up sticks, but you are going to need a stick to craft the knife and the torch. Uh, let's see. Find some more stones. Now, when you're picking stuff up, you want to make sure that it doesn't say steal. So if you steal, there's a chance that you're going to pick that up and you're going to lose Dynasty reputation. So you want to be careful when stealing stuff, unless that's the play style you're going for. If you're going for a thief play style, then obviously you're going to be looking for those things. Uh, let's see. Sticks and sticks. I need another stone. Was there another stone down here? One more stone. Where you at? Oh, there's one right there. Stone. There we go. We got the ten stones. Uh, let's go ahead and craft a stone knife. Now, I believe I've got fast crafting and fast building on. Now, just like in the valley, if you wanted to change your uh, game settings, you hit escape and you can go into custom game and you can change all of your game settings just like you could uh, in the game before. And they do change on the fly and they will change even if you have people on co-op. Uh, and so as you can see, I've got poison temperature turned on. I want to turn on fast crafting and fast building. I do want those on. I'll leave all of the multipliers as they are. We're going to stay right now. We're going to stay at three day seasons. Um, we have all of the unlimited stuff turned off. The build limit, you will notice on the build limit that uh, in co-op mode that increasing the build limit is going to possibly affect the performance, especially on the host's computer. Uh, since the player, the host player is going to be hosting the computer, they're, they're using all of their computer resources to run the game for all of the people that are joining them. And then, of course, you can have up to three more players. You can change, I believe, the uh, color of of the people can I ch how do I do that maybe I can't change yeah change color so you highlight that F you can actually change the color of the different players uh, so like in one of my streams uh, Goldie and uh, Kapuzi were both the same color now granted at that time I didn't realize that I could change the colors I kind of we kind of stumbled upon this the other night Goku and I did um, so you can change the colors of all the different players and give every player a different color icon so you can keep track of who's where and, and stuff like that in your co-op games. Loot the chest near the sick house. Okay. Uh, okay. There's not as much stuff in here as there was when we played the other one. Okay, that's good. All right, 20 straw. We do have sticks in here, so I guess I didn't have to pick up sticks. And we got logs. All right, so we've looted that. Uh, skin the chicken lying next to the chest. This would be the chicken, the rooster. So we're going to go ahead and skin that. Myth Randier, thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, let's see, is this one of the updates where any progress of games uh, rendered invalid? So I'm, at, I'm not exactly sure how the update affects old saves, but I would imagine the old saves, once you open the old save, because they're going to be on the valley, that's the map they're going to be on. And once you save again, it's going to update it to the current update. At least that's how past updates have worked. You cannot go from the valley save and use that save in the oxbow. You're going to have to create a separate save for the oxbow. Doing my best to try and keep up on chat. I uh, appreciate Goku for, for trying to hit a lot of that stuff for me. Ken, you're just downloading the update now. Good deal. Alrighty, what do we got? We got to do a simple torch. All right, well, we picked up straw and stick out of the chest. Now we're going to open the crafting wheel with Q and we're going to spin around and we're going to go to a simple torch and we're going to craft one of those. Boom. Done. Uh, let's see. Light the campfire inside the sick house. Roast all the meat. So we're going to go back in the sick house. So this, this is what they're calling the sick house. Right there. So you spawn in that house and then Sedawin was outside that house when we first started. 
But by the time we were ready to talk to him, he had already walked into the sick house. But it wants you to go into the sick house, light the campfire, and then it wants you to roast the meat. So you're just going to hit E to craft, and you're going to go over here to roasted meat. You're going to hit R and E to select all, and then F to cook all four pieces of meat. Now I've got fast crafting on, so it's going to cook all four pieces of meat. I thought I turned fast crafting on. I didn't save. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta save that. I go back and change it and save it right after this. Okay, let's do that real quick. Go into custom game. I had changed that. So we gotta hit that and then we gotta accept changes. There we go. And then I, yes. I should also create a save for this. We'll save it in the empty spot and we're gonna go season seven. There we go. No free slots? Are you kidding me? I've used all of the available slots. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, well, I do have, I have all of my saves going all the way back to when the game first came out. Huge. Like I got a ton of saves. Okay. So, um, what do I want to get rid of? I don't want to get rid of any of it. All right. Well, I'm going to have to figure that out later. We're going to save it in autosave one. So we're going to rename autosave one season seven. Can I do that? Yes. There we go. Okay. So now at least I have a hard save of this map and it wants me to sleep. All right. But we're crafting stuff. Craft a wooden spear. Now we did pick up logs out of that chest. We're going to hit Q, go to hand crafting, and we're going to spin around. And we're going to go to wooden spear. And we're going to craft a wooden spear. <clears throat> Crazy Train, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm not good at city building. I'm struggling to enjoy the game. I want to be the king of the kingdom and really struggling in this game. You cannot be the king of the kingdom. I, I can let you know that right now. You cannot be the king of the kingdom. Now, granted, you can be the king of your settlement. <laughs> your dynasty, but you cannot be the king of the kingdom. Now, as far as what you're struggling with, I'm, I'm not sure, but I do have guides out there that can help you. Uh, so feel free to head over to my playlist, um, my tips and tricks playlist. Uh, most of the guides that are there are going to help you with the basics of the game. Now, they are going to be in the valley. They are not going to be in the oxbow until I start putting them out again. James, you got to wait for the update. I'm assuming that you're not on PC then, James. All righty, hit the target with the spear. All right, well, let's hit tab. Let's go into inventory. Let's find the wooden spear. And then you want to make sure to put it into a quick slot. I'm going to put my spear in four. So then we're going to hit four to uh, equip the spear. We're going to do right click to draw it back. We're going to aim at the target, left click to throw it. Inspector mode, yes. Uh, so we've hit the target with 100% accuracy from 8.8 .8 meters. So we've completed the quest. And then you can go and pick up your spear off of the target. Now we got to go back and talk with Sedowin. Where is he at? He's in here. There he is. <clears throat> Sedowin, I am done, buddy. Uh, my favorite patient is back. Uh, your only patient right now, it looks like. Uh, I'm done with the list. Splendid. And how do you feel? Did you have any trouble? Uh, let's see. None. I'm good as new. Some, but I managed. Uh, many, I'm afraid. I think my recovery will take some more time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I am going to go with none. I'm good as new. I'm ecstatic to hear that. Uh, your, your recuperation is truly a marvelous case. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, our work together is done, uh, and I'm more than happy with the results. The next thing you, the next thing for you is to go and meet the Castilian. He's the ruler of this land, and he wants to speak with you himself. Uh, that's it. If you ever need, excuse me, if you ever need my help, you know where to find me. Take care of yourself, kid. 
Uh, let's see. I'll do that. Thank you, Seto One, for everything. Uh, I don't care about rulers. Uh, sure, I just want to explore the neighborhood first. Uh, I'm going to choose number one. Uh, thank you, Seto One, for everything. There we go. And we are going to go meet with Mirror God. Now, before I leave, Seto One yeah, do. does have a nice little feature to him. Now, granted, you can go and talk to him and, and ask what the quartermaster is like and all that good stuff. Uh, but option number five, you can actually, if you're wounded or you're low on health, you can actually come back to him as long as you've got 50 coins. I'm pretty sure it's 50 coins. I'm not, I'm not going to spend my coin to do it because I don't need it. But he will heal you of your wounds. So you can come in here and choose number five. I'm in need of medical attention. And he'll heal you. So that's a nice little feature. Very well. All right, let's go ahead and it's like dark, dark out. Let's go ahead and sleep the night. Let's make it daylight so it's a little easier to see. Um, right there. Alrighty, so let's see. Yes, I've uh, crazy trained. Uh, yes, I've watched your guides. Uh, thanks for all this. Still not helped me much. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe the game isn't just for me. I guess. Yeah, I. You're the only one that can answer that question for sure. Whether the game is for you or not. <laughs> but I mean, it's uh, it's a great community. You can go on. Uh, if if my guides aren't helping you, maybe somebody else's will. Um, if you can go on the Steam forums, uh, you can go to the Medieval Dynasty Discord page, Facebook page, my Discord. Uh, you know, the the community is great. You know, for the most part, everybody's willing to help the the other player, the fellow player. So, if if my guides aren't aren't the right way for you to learn, then maybe somebody else's are. Uh, but hopefully that uh, that you can learn the game because it is a great game to play. I mean, I, I've been playing the game, like I said, for three years. Water. Okay, water. Got it. All right, well, let's run down here. I know we got to talk to Mirror God. I'm going to run down here, drink some water out of the river. That way we're full on water. Now, we just cooked the meat, so we do have a little bit of meat to eat on us. Drink, drink, drink. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Mithrander, that is right. Uh, you do not have to rush the game. Now, granted, I typically kind of do myself only because I'm producing content. But you can adjust the game to your liking. You can change the days of your seasons to 30 days. Take as much time during each season as you want. After three days in each season, you can sleep that season away in a bed. Uh, so you don't have to play each season for 30 days if you don't want to. Uh, but typically, that's, that's a good, safe way to play. That way, you've got plenty of time to do what you want to get done in each season. Alrighty, we got to go talk to Mirror God. He should be... Right over here. Mr. Mirror God. Uh, let's see. Stop bothering me. Don't you see that I'm... Oh, it's you. You took your time. Uh, I guess I did. <laughs> Had to go to get a drink at the river. Uh, let's see. Good day to you, my liege. I'm here at your request. Hello there. I heard that you wanted to speak with me. Uh, what... What is that? Was it, what is it that you want from me? Oh my goodness! For whatever reason, that was hard for me to say. Uh, I'm gonna go with hello there. Uh, I heard that you wanted to speak with me. Less talking, more paying attention, peasant. Uh, okay, my time is precious. Listen, I made a deal with your guild for a whole caravan. Builders, crafters, architects, tons of materials, everything necessary for the creation of a new settlement. But instead, instead of it all, I got. You. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's not my fault that. Uh, are you implying that I'm not? Um, I wasn't even part of any. Okay. So these are setups. Let's go. Let's go with number two. Are you implying that I'm not? Shh, I'm not. I'm not done talking. <laughs> Great. 
Now, because, because you people decide you'd like to be ambushed and slaughtered, your friends back in the guild don't want to spend anything or anyone more. That's not what we agreed on. But I'm too tired, too busy, and too annoyed to try and reason with them. Uh, so you'd have to do. Have to do for what? To build a new settlement, of course. We got a couple of choices. Oh, that? Sure, piece of cake. Uh, but I'm not a builder. That, excuse me, that's absurd. I've never done anything like that. Uh, we're going to go with that's a piece of cake. That's what I like to hear. Although I have absolutely no faith in your success, at least I can finally hear some enthusiasm around here. Uh, let's see. Don't worry about a thing. I'm a professional. <laughs> I got you, bro. Uh, let's see. I'll just need a couple of things. Uh, some laborers, maybe a couple of apprentices, a cook. <laughs> Something tells me he's not going to go for number two. Um, don't worry about a thing. I'm a professional. Uh, well, maybe I've misjudged you. Enthusiasm, confidence, you may actually be worth something after all. Great. Go and find Derwin. He's my quartermaster. If you need anything, bother him with questions, not me. Will do. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Akem? I, I still haven't figured out whether that's a name or not. I hear Grant, you, I hear by, maybe that's my name. Is that my name? No, I named myself. Maybe he's clearing his throat. I hereby grant you the yada yada <laughs> you can build on whichever unaccompanied piece of unaccompanied piece of land you like. Just remember about taxes. Uh, sure thing, boss. Uh, I'll see what's what, and then decide. Thanks. Uh, yeah, sure thing, boss. <laughs> Oh, I get the yada yada blessing. Great. Alrighty, so let's go talk to Derwin. He's going to be back over here in the tavern, it looks like. So this here in the center is going to be your uh, vendor area. You can see all the little vendor booths and everything. You can see all the little, at the top of the screen, you can see the little bags. That indicates that they, that person is going to be a vendor. Uh, if we go out here to the left, there is a mission board over here to where you can actually pick up missions for the town. These change each season. Uh, once you are done with the missions on the notice board, they don't come back again until season change, at least from what I've been noticing during testing. Or during my testing, which has only been a few days. Uh, but let's go in here and talk to Derwin. Derwin, sir. Glad to finally see you in good health. I'm Derwin, uh, Pistovia's quartermaster. I was told by the Castilian to speak with you. I understand. Allow me to elaborate a bit on your situation. Our ruler tends to be brief at times. Uh, let's see. Yes, please. That would help a lot. Uh, that's mildly put. <laughs> I don't need any elaboration. I know what I'm doing. Okay, well, let's go with number two. That's That puts it mildly. You see, your guild was invited to the Oxbow in order to start a new settlement, which in time could develop into a strong ally of Pasovia. That much I've heard. But what you might wonder is, why would Pistovia need such an ally? Or what does it really mean to be its ally? These questions are hard to answer for sure. Someone could have even said, dangerous to ask. Uh, what are you trying to say? Sorry, forget I said anything. I didn't want to in insinuate that you were in any kind of danger. The Oxbow is a wonderful place. Apart from a hungry wolf or a drunk adventurer uh, turned bandit, <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. Just be careful you put your... Be careful who you put your trust in. Uh, great. Uh, speak your mind, mister. Is this supposed to be a threat? All right, Darwin. Uh, I will then. Let's go with number three. All right, Darwin. I will then. Good, good. When you were talking with the Castilian, I put some things for you in the chest next to Sedwin's house. It's not much. A uh, few of the items that we recovered from the carriage. Carnage, excuse me. And a couple of useful things that will help you get started. Thank you very much. Uh, this is it then. The only thing left to do is to go out there and explore, roam around, and find the best starting place for the new settlement. I'm sure you'll do fine. 
Uh, that's what I'll do. Farewell. The Oxbow. Here I come. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I can't just leave. Uh, the Oxbow. Here I come. Look out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see here. Longer seasons help a lot with the farming. Uh, that's for sure. Yes, they do. Uh, so, yeah, if you're doing a lot of the farming yourself, uh, like Gutterball mentioned, uh, longer seasons definitely help. Uh, but again, like in the wintertime, th there's not a whole lot to do as far as farming. So you may find, okay, I've set my... Um, my seasons to 30 day seasons but the winter time is like really long and you're not doing a whole lot of farming you might be prepping fields for the summer but you're not prepping and planting and all of that good stuff so once you're done and you reach the three day limit then you can sleep that season away and you can skip right to summer unless there's other things that you're wanting to do in the winter or whether you're wanting to collect a lot of items or go through all the different mines and stuff like that and mine all the ores and you, you have that kind of a time so definitely for for you know uh beginner players and stuff i i would definitely recommend the uh longer days during the season you're so handsome why don't you have a wife sorry my wife just texted me i had to read her text <laughs> got to keep the boss happy Alrighty, uh let's see keep an eye on the situation in the oxbow stay vigilant what does that mean Stay vigilant. Um, okay. That's all the objective is? Just to keep my eye on the oxbow? Is there something that's going to happen? Meh. Okay. I didn't see that quest before. Alrighty. So, um, I'm kind of thinking we need to find a place to build, maybe. Um, possibly see if we can romance somebody or something. Uh, let's see. Bloody Sky Rats. Hunt seven pigeons. We need your spear and your bow and your axe. Uh, let's see. He's wanting throwing stones. Okay, we got to have a crafting building for that. So we can't do that one right now. Rabbit, rabbit. We could hunt rabbits. <clears throat> I'm hunting rabbit. Uh, somebody wants sticks and salt now we can get salt but we got to find a mine and we got to have a pickaxe which we can craft uh, a stone pickaxe so i would say let's go ahead and do the sky pigeon thing sky rats let's do the rabbits um the sticks excuse me sticks are going to be easy uh this one here we'll wait to pick that up just so it doesn't expire when in our inventory in our journal excuse me in our journal and we'll hold off on the salt for right now although it's 200 coins huh let's get the others done let's do that okay so we got blady sky rats this is going to pop up the different ones that we picked up and we need to go back over here and check the storage because derwin said that he put stuff in this chest there's all the stuff We've already got loads of stuff. I'm already at 24.49 kilograms of a max of 35 kilograms right now. Um, theoretically, I could probably sell some of this stuff that Darwin gave us to potentially get more bags. Uh, let's see. So he gave us a bow. We're going to take the bow. We're going to take all of the copper arrows for sure. We've got roasted meat and dried meat and oat rolls. I don't need all of this meat on me. Uh, let's see. We're going to keep... We're going to keep the roasted meat on us. We'll put the dried meat back in this chest. Because you can use this chest as long as you want. As far as I can tell, the use of this chest and the use of the sick house... Never go away. You can come back in. You can sleep in the bed. You can use this chest. Now, granted, this chest only has 50 kilogram weight limit in it. So just keep that in mind. Now, any items that you drop, like if you wanted to drop the logs next to the chest, they don't disappear. Uh, I'm going to drop the feathers in there. Uh, let's see. The oat roll. That's 50 food. You know what? I'm going to keep the oat roll. I'll drop the roasted meat. 
Uh, we got sticks and stones on us. We may need those. Uh, the straw, we probably need to keep that. Make another torch. Uh, we have a stone knife that we can use. Trousers, wooden spear. All right, now let's go into here. Nope, I hit the wrong button. We'll keep a bucket on us so we can have some water. And then I am going to keep... I think I'm going to keep the copper axe, but I think I'm going to sell everything else to try and make a little bit of money so we can get um, what I'm trying to think of bags matter of fact I could probably sell that dried meat because hunting isn't too terribly hard um, no I'm going to keep the meat for now Sell the simple bag, because I can get more of that. Stone spear. There's a regular torch. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep the regular torches. And then there's a wooden hammer. So we could, we got two wooden hammers, two torches, two spears, and three stone axe. We can sell the other stuff. Let's go see how much money we can make. Oops. Overloaded. Yep. I am currently encumbered. Let's go ahead and see what I can sell. Now, if we go over here, food, yep, got it. Uh, we can actually eat real quick. We'll eat these apples just to get them out of our inventory. Um, I'm not going to eat the oat roll now because that's 50. The oat roll is 50 food and I'm already up to 64. I'll let my food drop a little bit before I eat an oat roll. But this lady right here uh, is, she's like the clothes vendor. And then she also sells the large pouch, <clears throat> which you can buy for 390 coins. And the simple large backpack, which you can buy for uh, 480. So let's go ahead and sell her some of these other items. Uh, I'm going to sell the copper axe. I'm going to sell the copper hammer. The hoe, the knives, <clears throat> the shovel, because we can craft all of those items, whether it's wood or stone. Um, so we don't have to have the copper items, even though they are nice to have. Uh, let's see the logs. I'm going to keep the simple bag and get rid of because we can hunt to get more leather. Um, and we're up to 460 coin now. So then how much was the simple large backpack? 480 so we're 20 coins shy to get that one so what we're going to do is we're going to buy the pouch excuse me no where's the large pouch the large pouch because the large pouch adds 10 kilograms to your weight limit so we're going to go ahead and buy that so that way we have at least a little bit of inventory space extra so we'll highlight it hit f to equip it you can see it equipped over here on the right hand side of the screen uh, we have to equip the arrows the same way. Highlight the copper arrows, hit F. You can see the little red circle below them. That means that they are equipped in the quiver. We want to make sure that the bow is equipped. I like to put mine in three so you can highlight it and, or, and drag it over to three. Or you can actually highlight it and hit the number three on your keyboard or on your mouse if you have multi-key mouse. Uh, but you want to make sure that it has that little red circle below it. That way you know it is equipped. My, my knife does not need to be in one. Uh, I'm going to throw it in eight. And the wooden spear is in four. Then, how much inventory weight do I got? I'm still at 23. So then I can go back over here. I can pick up one of those wooden hammers and I can pick up uh, a stone axe and carry those. Matter of fact, I am... I'm going to keep one torch... I'll keep one hammer, one stone axe. That way you have the necessary items on you. I like my axe in one, my hammer in two. And there we go. I've got that set up. Now we can go out and see about making some more coins so we can get that other pouch. Because having the pouch is definitely going to be helpful until you can get your skill sets up. So if you go into the skills, you want to try and get on under excavation. What you're going to try and do is get to mule as quickly as you can. Having three uh, tiers of mule is going to have give you an additional 15 kilograms of carry weight. That's definitely going to be extremely helpful unless you're playing the game in unlimited weight turned on.
If you have unlimited weight turned on, you don't have to worry about any of this because you can carry everything. Literally. <laughs> Alrighty. Didn't see any burned note. Oh, I've missed something. Have you read the burned note? Okay. The note... Was the note in the chest? Because no, I didn't read the note. This note. We'd read the note, that the parchment paper. We did pick that up. Uh, yeah, here we go. Burn note from the caravan. There we go. Pick up the burn note from the caravan. And that did that. Okay, is it in the journal? Stay vigilant. No. All right. I don't see... So I did pick it up, right? Burn note. There it is. List of excuses. Burn note. Quest item. Uh, partially burned note recovered from the caravan. It must must have been one of the guild's uh, merchandise lists. Okay. But do we need that for somebody? It says it's a quest item, but I don't see the quest. Stay vigilant. We got that highlighted. Keep an eye on the oxbow. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, it is what it is at this point. We'll hold on to it. Nope. Don't throw that. Why are you... Stop that. <laughs> that was weird. I was running and it automatically like put me into throw spear mode when I put the spear on. Um... Wait, there were stone spears in that chest. I should probably pick those up. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, when it's going to release on Epic Games, I have no clue. Um, I'm, I have no clue. You can probably go over to uh, either the Steam forums for the game or go over to the Medieval Dynasty or Top Lits Discord uh, and pose that question there because the devs will be able to see it and they should be able to answer that a whole lot more accurately than I could. Let's grab these stone spears. Let's actually put the stone spears in three stone spears. Four. There we go. Now, let's go out. Let's highlight. Let's see. We need blood rats, so the pigeons, and we need the rabbits. Six rabbits, seven pigeons, and we need some more sticks. Oh, those are easy enough. Yeah, I didn't realize that there was a save limit until I started this stream and tried to save the game, uh, which I am going to do a hard save on that now. Here we go. I do recommend, especially in uh, co-op mode, to try to save often. Now, granted, you could do the F5, which is a quick save. Or you can do a hard save like what I just did. Now, outside town, so this is going to be the north side of town, the north gate of town. This is the one that was in the trailers and everything. There is a little camp here, and this is where you find your recruitable villagers. And um, when I was playing last night, I noticed that there were like five people sitting here. Obviously, I've only got three here now. Is anybody good? Not bad. This guy's pretty good. She's mediocre. Yeah, he's he's oh, actually the best one here. Like She's not bad, though. The cozy fire to make you forget. You're slipping Very nice. Today. Okay, let's see about getting some pigeons. Can we find some pigeons? Spotted a rabbit. Where's the rabbit? It's getting dark already. Dang it. We're going to skip the whole first season before we do much of anything. Uh, there's some rabbits out there. Do a little sneak on them here, see if we can... Come on, where you at? You already saw me. I thought that was one right there, but I guess it's not. What is that? Rock? Yep, just a rock. 
Moose. Completely lost the rabbit. Dang it, sun's going down. All right. Ducks. All right, we got to get real here. Let me... Sun's going down, can't hardly see anymore. So when you're out and about, I'll actually just do that. When you're out and about, you can actually, you know, take pick up some sticks. Or broadleaf plantain. Sticks are preferable. Sticks, 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 sticks. Sticks. And sticks. Sticks. And then you open your crafting wheel, go to furniture and decorations, go to campfires. You can actually build a simple campfire. As long as it's green, you can place it. You can light it. There we go. <clears throat> and then you can sleep. So you can actually sleep the night just wherever your campfire is. Good old Pigeon Rock. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull out my hammer. I'm going to open the crafting wheel for the hammer. I'm going to hit it to destroy, and then I'll just destroy the campfire. That way I don't litter my map with campfires that I may or may not find again. Tree cutting, all that stuff. So we still need the sticks. How many sticks did we need for that one quest? This one right here. We need 35 sticks. So we can actually do that. We can just gather these sticks, and we can go turn that in. Hopefully we can see some more rabbits. Actually, I want to grab more than 35 sticks in case I got to build another campfire. Either that or I can go back and turn this in. So for the starting map, uh, there's a little area just off here, down the road here in front of me which is probably a nice little starting spot you're close to town it's next to the water you know you can actually you got maple trees around which are the the better trees if you're going to be chopping down trees for building and stuff uh and you can actually be near this little bridge and stuff like that or you can go beyond the bridge uh and start your little village down there there's a nice little flat area for farming and stuff like that so that way you're kind of close to the first town that way you get your bearings and stuff, and then you can build beyond that um, after you start learning more about the map and everything. Alrighty. We got all our sticks that we need. I haven't seen any rabbit or pigeon. Uh, let's go check out this building over here. We might have some lootables over here that are going to give us some coin to get um, a new bag. So in addition to the lootable items, so like your busted carts and your loot locations and stuff that were in the valley, we now have these like abandoned or dilapidated buildings. Um, from what I can tell, you can't do anything with them other than loot them. You can't build near them. There is a building restriction. Matter of fact, let me pull out the campfire again. I can kind of show you. You can see this area is restricted. So you can't build here. So there's going to be a little border around it. I can build there. Yeah. So there's going to be a little border around it where you, you can't build like right on top of it. But if you're creative, you can go outside the area and you can incorporate it in your village. Like it was part of whatever storyline you want to make up for your, your, you know, role play event or whatever. But these little things here, they do have sometimes some good stuff in them. Now let me get into first person so I can see a little bit better. Of course, this one doesn't have shite in it. Wait, is that something up there? Uh, let's go up top. And yes, there's a copper axe. Is there any... Anything else? Can I crouch? Yes. No, I can't. Uh, eggs. Eggs and feathers. There we go. And more beer bottles. Everything is good. We can sell that. We can make some money. We can go back down. We can go around the other side. There are stairs on the other side. Go up here. And we got potion, incident healing. I'll probably keep that one. Oat beer. 
oat beer. We're encumbered now. There's dumped loot with 50 coin in it. One fur, one beer. Perfect. All right, so we can actually head back into town because we're kind of close. Looking for rabbits or pigeons on the way, hopefully. We can turn in the stick quest. We do have enough sticks for it, right? <laughs> Yes, we do have enough sticks for it. So we can turn in the stick quest. We can sell some of the items that we just picked up. And we can head back out again. I should probably change my days because there's going to be a lot of exploring to do. And then we're going to have to go out and find a place to build. All that good stuff. Same stuff that we did in, in the valley. You got to go out and you got to explore, got to build, got to get you a wife, or now you can get a husband. Um, you have an heir. Now, there has been some questions how the heir works. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether you can have a female or a male heir, uh, but I, it sounds like you can, but I haven't been able to test that yet. Um, if you are a female character, and you're married and have an heir, your husband will be the one, as long as your husband is the NPC, because you can't marry other players in the game, but your NPC husband will be the one that stays home for two years and takes care of the baby. All right, let me go back in here. We were turning the quest in. Where is he at? Is he going to be in the tavern again? No, he's going to be right here. Yes, here he is. Derwin, I got your sticks for you, buddy. Uh, that's, let's see, that's great. Uh, you have no idea under how much how much pressure from the bridge enthusiast community I, I am. Uh, they even in, insinuated that my, uh, that my corpse would make a wonderful um, substitution for building material. Oh my gosh. Uh, if I didn't get them if I didn't get them any, uh, I have fought in merciless wars, handled wild beasts and bloodthirsty warriors. Yet I don't remember ever getting such shivers as I do while speaking with those maniacs. Okay. Well, that's nice. Make sure uh, to let them know that I helped and mean no harm this to any bridges. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. We don't want to part <laughs> with our possessions, even when they're far too heavy to bear. All right. Now let's see about selling uh, a couple of these items that I just picked up. How is life treating you? Show me your wares. Uh, this guy here is the special vendor. And as you can see, I've showed this in one of my streams as well. He has a ton of special gifts that you can purchase for your significant other. Ton of stuff. He even sells all of the little wooden figurines that Sambor uh, used to sell if you did that quest. All right. I'm going to sell the copper axe. I'm going to sell these eggs. Uh, I'm going to keep the feather, I'm going to sell the fur, sell the oat beer, uh, I'm going to sell the potion of saturation, I'm going to keep the instant healing potion just for that purpose of healing. Uh, I'm going to sell this wooden spear for now, because we're just kind of skirting the, the high limit of um, our weight limit there. Let's sell that. What are we up to now? 295 coins. We've got about 200 more coins to go before Goodbye. we can get the large pouch. And we are going to head back out and see about getting some rabbits. But I'm going to go out a different door and see if we can find another building to loot. Uh, oh, pigeons. Can I hit those guys? No. I'm going to scare them all off. Good shot. Give me my stone spear back. Are there any over here? Don't see any. I don't see any more over here. All right, well, we're just gonna have to keep our eye out for them. Uh, let's go down here. I'm gonna need to eat and drink, so let's go ahead and eat. Food. Two. There we go. We'll eat one of those oat rolls since it gives us 50 health or 50 food. Sorry. And drink a little bit of water. And there's some buildings straight ahead. We're going to start heading that way, looking for rabbits and pigeons. Oh, 
Dang it. <laughs> Couldn't see that one because he was hiding in the bushes. Uh, let's walk up the road and see if there's any sitting on the road anywhere. No? Oh, there's a rabbit out there. There's one there to my right. And I think they both see me. Wow, that's kind of a big radius of them seeing me. Okay. May have to pull the bow out to get the rabbits. Ooh, that looks like a little camp down here. Uh, let's see. Can I hit... Yeah, see, he ran away. He was kind of a ways from me. Can you stop moving? That'd be really good. Did he just speed up? Man. All right, let's run down here to the camp. Uh, what do we got? Fishing spears. All right, we'll take all these fishing spears. We're going to be encumbered again. Going to have to go back to town. That's okay, because we're trying to make money so we can get that other pouch. Uh, bucket. Fish meat. Can we act? No, we can't interact with that. Small container. Hey, 56 coin. I will take it. Insulted meat. Anything else? I don't see anything else. So I have noticed it appears that like the cluster of deers and stuff that you find are larger. Like there's more deer in the cluster. Like how many is over there now? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's a tenth one right here. That's 10 deer in that cluster. That's huge. Hone your hunting skills. You get the meat and the leather from the deer. Turn the leather into bags. Some decent money. All right, let's see what's in here. Clay cups. Okay, that's not much. Uh, what's in here? Flour? What do we have? Hey, that was eight flour? Okay. Am I going to be too encumbered to go back to town? Jeez. Uh, here's some more flour. Very wine. Anything in there? No. There's some sacks under here. That's empty. And that one's empty. The sacks are underneath those ovens. Just stuck on that little ledge there. All right, let's go in the house. See if there's anything in here. Uh, what's in the chest? A bag and a potion of sobriety. A uh, stone spear. Ooh, poison arrows. I'll keep those. Good. And I'm already... Oh, geez. Spear right in front of me. Oh, 150 coin. Yes, thank you. That was a good find. I have to waddle my butt back to town, though. All right, let's see if anything's in here. Uh, ooh, more poison arrows. Another bow. Potions. <laughs> uh, empty. This barrel has something in it. Rye grain and straw. Wow. Okay, we got to go back to town. Oh, 120 coin. 10 bar. Dang it. How much coin do I have now? I got 621 coin. I got plenty of coin to buy that pouch. I'm just like super freaking encumbered. All right. So while you are encumbered, you can hit W and then either A or D to strife and then hold shift. And you can actually run pretty quickly. Faster than you can if you're just going forward and hitting shift. You can actually go a little bit quicker going sideways. This has been a thing in the game for a long time. This is not anything new. Gutterball, are you trying to get your wife to buy the game so you can play together? That's good. My wife would not play this game with me. <laughs> she, do, she, she doesn't like any of the games that I play. Number Wonders will never see as you were eating and drinking, right? I, I never eat and drink hardly. Unless I'm dying.
Mike, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining us today. That will be the new strategy, doing loot runs for cash. It is it is simple. It's easy. Uh, from what I can tell, the places that I've been to in the stream so far have always been there. Um, so looting is, is going to be good. Now, granted, your stone knives and stuff are no longer going to be the way to make that early game thousands of coins on day one kind of a thing because they've nerfed stone knives. Uh, stone knives, I believe, sell for two coin a piece now. Your bags, your simple bags have changed. It only takes one leather, I believe, to make the stone bag now. Matter of fact, let me look. Not the stone bag, the simple bag. So it takes one leather to make a simple bag. Now, it's still more profitable to turn the leather into a bag uh, because I believe one leather sells for either one or two coins, but the bag sells for six. It's where the bag used to sell for like 30. So there's there's been a lot of nerfs to the prices of things. Alrighty, let's go find a vendor and get rid of some of this stuff. How are you? <laughs> Price is so low. Uh, you know what? I am going to keep that bag, I think, for farming, for at least our first farming. Sell that. Uh, that's an 18% bow. I'm going to actually sell it. Uh, we're going to sell the wine, the clay cup, all three of them. Uh, we're going to sell the meat. I should have cooked the meat. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll cook the meat and then sell it because I believe it'll sell for more. Uh, we're going to sell all four of the spears. The spears, the wooden, uh, the fishing spears are, look like they're 20 coins a piece. So there's 80 coin right there. Flour, two coin a piece. Uh, keep the log, keep the roll. I'm going to keep all the poisoned arrows. Um... I'm going to sell the rye. Nah, do I want to sell the rye? I'll keep it. It's light. Uh, salted fish, we're going to sell that. I did not mean to empty, close need, that. Uh, let's it. see, what else? Potion of sobriety, we'll sell that. Now, potions uh, used to be like 25 coins. They're now like three. You see here the instant healing two is 5.5 at 100%. How is this 9%? Somebody, you can drink a... No, you can't drink a partial potion. It's either drink it all or none, right? I wonder if those are actually still effective. Well, we're going to hold on to those and find out later, but I'm selling the sobriety. Uh, let's see, what else? Stones, sticks. I got 14 stones. I'm still encumbered. Okay, uh, wicker basket. I just saw that before I closed that Only inventory. The best products here. Uh, let's sell the tin bar for 20 coin. We'll sell the wicker basket. There we go. Now, I can go back to this lady. Where's she at? Before they go off and go to bed. And then I've got enough coins now. I've got 866 coin now. I can go down here and buy the simple large backpack now. There it is. 480. Just need one. Get out of her inventory. Get back into our inventory, go to all, find the simple large backpack, and hit F. Uh, we're now up to 65 kilogram weight limit. Perfect. So it's not on day one, but you can get it on day one if you jump in and just focus on going around and, and looting those couple of little places. You could definitely get enough money to get both bags on day one. So that is still feasible. Uh, we did find a bow. Now, granted, the condition of the bow was like 18%. So, I mean, <laughs> now I think what I'm going to do for this series, I'm going to change the days and we're going to up the days just a little bit because this, there is, there's a lot more exploring. So this way, now granted, we're losing our spring. So we're not going to be able to get all those spring crops in the ground and stuff like that. So I'm going to up this to like six days. That way we have a few more days each season so we can actually explore and go to caves and, and do some leisurely stuff. Uh, that way we're not necessarily needing to rush. And then if I'm done early, I can sleep the season away. But this still gives me 
kind of that rush sense because I'll have six days. Now, granted, it's not going to go to six days until the next season. And my next season is going to be tonight. Yeah, the potion seems to have durability like the food. I But those potions were picked up. Those weren't, like, given to me. It's like, I don't know if they actually do have, if they do deteriorate like food does. And I don't think that they do. I've never seen potions deteriorate like that. Okay, we still need to have rabbits uh, and those pigeons. If I wasn't running out the front door, I could have shot those pigeons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, they've already changed the map just a little bit since I put out that picture of the map the other day. Good. That's nice. A lot more detail in it now. All right, let's go. Let's kind of go over here and see about maybe if we want to build a village over there. I'll go around the outside here. Wait, is that bird coming back? Because we need pigeons. Ooh, they are coming back. All right. Can I hit you this time? Got him. Ooh. Can I get you? Got it. All right, we got two pigeons. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they just keep coming. Perfect. Got them. Three pigeons. Pick up all my spears. And let's skin the pigeons. Maybe the bottle condition. Yeah, you could be right. It could be the bottle condition for the potion. The potion is probably still itself. Uh, usable and viable. It's just the condition of the bottle itself. That does make sense, Cora. Okay. Uh, let's go into... Oh, we got skills. Uh, hunting, rabbit, sky rats. We need four more of those pigeons. Um, and I saw that we had skills, survival. Um, I'll go for the insensitive this time. Temperature is a much bigger aspect in the game now than it used to be. So I think they have made that intolerance skill a whole lot more useful. All right, now let's go out this direction. See if we can find some rabbits. I wanted to go look at this this uh, place out this direction for possibly building. I do plan on doing uh, the building location guides. There's a lot of places around the maps where I want to build, and I know I can't build in all of them <laughs> in this series. I might try. I don't know. I might try to build in all of them. Dear... Pigeon. There was a pigeon. I found a pigeon somewhere. Rabbit? Where's the rabbit? Look at the, everything is so tall and stuff. Now granted, you can still lower the foliage and everything like we've done in the past. I'm not doing that for the series. Oh, there's some barrels up here. Oh, is there nothing in them? Oh, there is stuff in them. There's iron in them. Iron, iron, iron. I don't have any buildings, and I don't want to be that encumbered right now. Uh, but I don't want these to disappear either. Ooh, there's a bag there. I'll take that. So let's do this. Let's pick the iron up. No, not the sticks. The iron. 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 Oh, there's a bag of coin. 70 coin right there. Hot diggity dog. Then... What I can do is I can move just a little bit away from that because I don't want to keep that iron on me. 
I can actually drop it on the road and come back and pick it up the next time I run through here. Because it should be here, right there in the middle of the road. Did I hear a rabbit? No, I did not hear a rabbit. Still looking for pigeons and stuff. You know what? I'm going to go back to the town. I want to try and get these quests done. I'm not going to get the rabbits done. Like, I haven't killed any rabbits. So I'm probably going to fail that quest. Which is fine. Where are the rabbits and the pigeons? There's perch. Yeah, so temperature is a thing is a big thing in the game now. I think they've they've really um, increased the need for the warmer clothes, a lot warmer clothes, or the need for the intolerance uh, skill. That skill that I just took because the intolerance skill. Um, there we go. Right, or insensitive insensitive skill uh, is. It increases your temperature tolerance by two Celsius. And then the next level will be four Celsius and so on. So I think it's going to be more useful. Matter of fact, Goku and I were testing that the other day. I was freezing. He was not. So it's definitely going to be useful. Like, I don't want to get too far away from town. That way, if I complete this quest, I can go turn it in. We did see rabbit out here, right? Oh yeah, there's one right there. No, don't run away. Oh, I missed him. Ah, dang it. All right, where'd that go? There we go. 2% left on that spear. 94 on that one, okay. All right, well, they're still running out here. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Trying to get those rabbit, I scared off those daggum birds. Dang it. Alright, now I've completely lost the rabbit. I don't have the skill to where I can see them in this mode. Well, that sucks. Where? Come on. Birdies land. I could actually use the birds, too. Oh, it's getting so dark. I can't see. We may just be failing both of these quests. There's a lesson learned right there. Don't pick up more than what you think you can actually get done. <laughs> oh, there's a rabbit. Oh, right over his head. Daggummit. I can't even find my... Where'd he go? Did he run off in the water? There he is. There's my spear out in the water. Let's take a drink. See if we can get our spear back. Here it is. There we go. Trick with rabbits, just chase them and punch them. It's easier than the spears. All right, well, next time I see a rabbit, I'll give that a try. Where's, let me put my spear away. Where's the rabbit? Let's find another rabbit. Did they come back? I can't see hardly anything. Let me see. Let me go in to do this real quick. Uh, settings, let's go into graphics. Let's go into brightness. Let's increase the brightness a little bit so I can see. So everybody hopefully can see better. Accept changes. It's going to make everything a little bit grainy, but at least it lightens the screen up a little bit. Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. There you are. Come here. They said I can punch you. Is that better? Oh, good job. Nice call, Jason. <laughs> 
requires a knife that I don't have, but I can craft one. All right. Punch the rabbit. Nope. That's, yeah, there it is. That's one rabbit down. How many? I think we needed six rabbits. Uh, I see another rabbit looks like on the road over here. Let's keep our stamina so we can actually chase him down. All right. Come here, Mr. Rabbit. Come here. Jason said I had to punch you. There we go. Yes, animals are a lot more skittish in this patch. Uh, some animals have also, I believe, been given larger health pools. So they're taking a lot more shots to be able to kill them. Um, bears and Wysents specifically. Uh, Wysents seem to act a little bit different. I think if you do enough damage to them, they, they flee rather than charge. Uh, last night I actually killed a Wysent with um, a hunting knife. But I did a lot of chasing. <laughs> and it took a lot of hits to finally get him down. Okay, is there any more rabbits out here? I see the moose. Uh, you might, um, Vlad, you might want to check your, your graphics settings. So when I first loaded the game up originally, uh, when I was playing the early access, my default settings were not my proper resolution and I had to change my resolution. So you might want to check your graphic settings to make sure your graphic settings are correct. Is that a rabbit out there or is that a rock? That's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Nope. Come here. There we go. Dude, how easy is that? Like I just I guess I've just never thought about running and chasing the rabbits just to punch them. Like I'm always trying to shoot them. Uh let's see. Have we gotten all the rabbits in this area? They're still they're still white. Are those the pigeons right there? I haven't seen any more pigeons. Um, how much time do we have left? Almost none. <laughs> I'm not going to get these quests done before the end of the season. Not that that's a huge deal. Uh, let's see. Are we able to hit the birds? There's a bird. No, dang it. No, no. Is that a pigeon? Oh, I missed it. Where'd my arrow go? Did I broke my arrow? Yes, I did. Great. <laughs> now, yeah, I've used the axes on the on the foxes before. Those and the uh, the badgers too, I believe. Like, I feel like I don't see any more rabbits out here. Wait, there's a... Where did a freaking bird go? I just saw him land. Was that bird not... Mr. Moose, go... Ah, you scared my bird! Damn you. Yep, he was inside that little bush back there. There's a pain in the butt. Okay, let's go over here a little bit, see if we can find a little different spot. What was that? Oh, rabbit? Where? There's a rabbit up there. Keep your stamina. Don't lose all of your stamina. Oh, no. Come on. Damn it. There. Now he's in the bush. The stick. And a rabbit. Okay, we got four rabbit now, I think. Oh, season change. 
<laughs> and we failed a quest. Okay, no worries. Wow, we got a lot of people here. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have a feeling we're not in the valley anymore. Um, that's because you're in the oxbow. Was this guy in the tavern who called himself Sparrow? Sorry, Captain Sparrow. I'm pretty sure he stole my money. Captain Sparrow. Nice. Okay. You guys have fun with that. Uh, let's see. Keep an eye on the situation in the oxbow still. We failed those two quests because we didn't get all of the rabbits and stuff. That's no big deal. Um, let's see. Let's go back into town. We can cook up the meat that we did get from the rabbits. And we can actually sell that. Gutter balls got me on the big screen. All right. Party time. All right. So we can go in here. We can light the fire. Let's cook up this meat. We can either eat or sell. Let's see. Let's do... We apparently got the fish meat. Turn that into roasted meat. Yeah. So they, they've added in a lot of... Uh, of the voice acting for the NPCs. So you'll walk around, you'll hear conversations around town and stuff. Let's cook the roasted meat. Perfect. And what I can do is take the meat because this meat has deteriorated. Ooh, not by much, though. Meat used to deteriorate in these chests by 50%. Now it's only by 25. That's good, I guess. The dried meat didn't deteriorate as much. Like 12.5%. Wow. Yeah, see, there's a lot of changes. A lot of changes. <laughs> That's good. What we got? Six fur in here. I'm going to drop that fur in there. Uh, hold on to those logs. I can sell the roasted fish meat. How much does the roasted fish meat? Roasted fish meat is 12 food um, and less 20% less food consumption for one minute. Actually, that's pretty good. Roasted meat is straight up 16 food. Uh, the dried meat is 14 food and 30 seconds of 20% less food consumption. So it looks to be like actually the roasted fish meat could potentially be the way to go. But you only get 12 food, but you get a full minute where it's 20% less food consumption. That's pretty good. And we found a bunch of the fishing spears, which we sold, you know, because we're super smart. Well, that's pretty good. Very nice. But anyway, folks, I think we're going to call this a stream. We're going to call this the end of episode one. And I'm going to flip around like I didn't want to do. Uh, and in the next episode, what we can do is go out and try and start finding a place to actually build our settlement uh, and get things going. We can probably pick up a couple of these quests because you can see that there at the top of the screen, there is a little exclamation point for a quest. I believe those do start additional story quests. So we can actually start doing that in the coming episodes and everything. But we now have uh, six day seasons. Such a nice pigeon to fly down right in front of me after I failed that quest. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> but anyway, I appreciate everybody joining me today. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and you enjoy the new update that is now live. If you are liking these uh, episodes and streams, definitely click that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. A special thank you to all of my members. You should be able to see them on the screen now. And we will see you folks in the next one. You folks take care and happy hunting.
Living in a smaller village must be so dull.